What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new Windows Insider build and we're going to be going over the design changes and all the really cool stuff. So let's just jump right into it and get it all out of the way. So one of the biggest changes you're going to find in this build is of course the completely redesigned settings app. Uh, I named it Arch Linux. Isn't that cool? You can rename it at will, whatever you want. It's up to you. It is, of course, an MSI product. So it kind of says, you know, this stands for MSI. That actually stands for my BIOS, which is kind of interesting. And if we're going to go over all of this, I guess we should start at display. Now, it's kind of weird, but hey, uh, display is at an overhaul. It does not look anything like Windows 10. As I said uh, in one of my previous videos, developments of Windows tends to go from the previous OS where they start transitioning into new things for the newer OS. This is one of those transitions. And this design might not be permanent, but I hope it is because I love every aspect of it. As you can see, there are some issues with the corners there. They are a little bit white tipped. Uh, that's because during the design process, I think they sort of rushed this a tad. Hopefully, they can find a way to fix it in the next build. Now, uh, everything is pretty much a given here, right? Hopefully. Auto HDR is, of course, in here. Uh, Bluetooth has had one of the biggest redesigns. And I need to grab my Switch controller because I want to show you uh, how cool it is. So, add device, Bluetooth, and I forgot to plug in Bluetooth. I'm that guy right now. Let's let, let's try that again. So go to Bluetooth, and there's the Pro Controller. Now watch what happens up top once this is finished connecting. And I don't know, but for some reason, uh, devices like the Switch Controller take a little while to pair. But look, it has its own nice little icon. You can add device after device after device after device. It's honestly awesome. You can even pair your phone if you need to. Uh, control your button mouse speed all of that stuff is all available in here like usb battery saving you know you get notifications it's a nice design i like it we go into internet and sorry network and internet you can see your data usage so for today uh since this is a clean install i've downloaded probably 24 gigs it's normal mobile hotspot off and on you got airplane mode proxy everything like that everything you're used to is here like, uh, I believe if you want it to go in here, you can view your data usage, your hardware and connection profile. You can reset your network, more adaption, you know, more network adapter options in your Windows firewall. It's right there now. No need to go in the control panel. Personalization honestly had the biggest overhaul. And I actually like keeping it like this because it just looks nicer. Uh, as you can see, this is supposed to represent your desktop and you have multiple versions of everything, right? And if you go to background, you can see that glow is, sel is selected for slideshow. So that means uh, this will always change. So if I click next, uh, next and boom, the glow changes to a different color. It's really cool. Um, yeah, contrast themes are right there. You know, do whatever you need to do. Let's go back to personalization. Uh, colors, transparency, all of this is completely redone. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Your apps, your default apps, your options, your video playback. So HDR streaming and all that cool stuff. Uh, depends on your device and hardware. So that's pretty cool. You can process video automatically to enhance it. Uh, save network bandwidth by playing at a res lower resolution. Uh, advanced display information, refresh rate, it's all there. Count is right there. Don't need to look at that. That also was redone, but yeah. Uh, gaming. What can I say? It's just it's just the gaming. So accessibility has added an extra feature, which is eye control. So you can control your operating system with your eyes. Yeah. You can even change audio to mono if you need to. Privacy and security also had a nice little overhaul. I very much do enjoy everything they've done. Now, let's talk about Windows Update, the dreaded most hateful thing about Windows. And believe it or not, Windows Update has gotten a lot faster uh, when transitioning to 11. Uh, it, it, you know, so future updates should only be like 5 to 10 minutes, maybe less, depending on your hardware, 
So that's really good. Uh, it's a lot more secure thanks to, believe it or not, the TAPM module. All right, so that I've shown you this, I get to show you this. So yeah, Math Le Mac Lethal does suck, by the way. Horrible artist. As you can see, we have a whole new thing going on here. You can see the Bluetooth, the Pro Controller, Focus Assist, ac uh, Accessibility, Nearby Sharing, Connect, all of that cool stuff's right there. Your ability to turn stuff up and down. And if we click here, you get to switch back and forth. More volume settings just brings you straight into here, which is cool. And your, you know, your volume mixer is clearly right here. And if you click this, you can set your output devices. So honestly, amazing job, Microsoft. Another thing is this, the redone calendar and the notification area. Really cool. Tells you restarts required. It looks pretty cool, don't it? Taskbar settings has been completely overhauled. Uh, you can turn all this off and on. You can go down here for behaviors, automatically hide the taskbar, show taskbar on all displays. That doesn't work or function right now correctly. No icons will show on the other ones. Like you can just, yeah, no matter what you do, it will just, uh, it won't function properly. So keep that off for now, okay? Those asking about Android apps, currently it does not work for what I know. Um, if I go in here to the App Store, uh, App Store has been completely redesigned as well. Everything's over here. It looks honestly completely beautiful and well done. Uh, you need the Amazon App Store to be able to handle Android apps. So if we go to Amazon, right, it should be one of the first things that pop up, but it's not. So the Amazon App Store doesn't look like it's out yet. Uh, come on, Amazon, you're being slackers. It's not cool, dude. Uh, there's nothing more to say, but this has been redone, and you're probably wondering, is it any lighter? Uh, honestly, I don't have a previous benchmark, but yeah, it's pretty darn light. So Windows as a whole has become lighter. I know it doesn't seem like it. I've just installed a buttload of stuff, right? And I'm running tons of background stuff, but that's just the way I usually do things. Um, in a nutshell, yes, Windows has become faster. Yes, gaming has become smoother. Um, it has more performance in the sense that you won't drop very many FPS. So you'll have better average FPS. Some people are having better higher FPS. So better highs, uh, better lows, and better averages. And it all depends on your system, your specs, whatever. People are getting lucky, some are not, okay? Uh, you could debate this all day in the comments, but the fact is everybody's experience will be different. There's benchmarks and videos from tech YouTubers showing that 11 does have a performance gain, and then there's videos showing that it doesn't. It all depends on a lot of variables. Another question. Yes, all my apps work. Yes, all my games work. Uh, there's nothing that currently doesn't work. You're asking why the task manager doesn't have a dark mode. Well, Microsoft wants to keep you awake when you're messing with your system. You make one wrong move and, well, you could screw up your system pretty bad, even in task manager, even though they've done everything they can to prevent that. So right now, no Android apps. Sorry, it kind of sucks. But check this out. I'm going to use this as an example. Boom new file explorer it looks awesome new notepad uh i don't really see it but yeah that's supposed to be coming y'all want to talk about paint this is paint right now unfortunately it's not been given the fluid treatment so this is the only app that we do have that has the new layout and design sorry about that <laughs> microsoft's doing the best that they can okay so uh, that's it, really. Uh, you shouldn't have any trouble or any issues with this version of Windows. This inside of build is incredibly stable. There's no time bomb. There's no watermark. Uh, if anything, this feels like more of a finalized version of Windows than anything. I've not had any bugs or any real issues. Uh, if you do, it might depend on your drivers. So make sure you're on the newest NVIDIA or AMD drivers just to have the best performance and the overall less buggy experience. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. I love the huge amount of support while I was streaming today. 
Um, I hope to see it more like that because honestly, it's great to have my videos finally being pushed out there and so many likes and views. It's great. And I appreciate every one of you. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And well, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, do what everybody else is doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe. Bye everybody.